Hey guys, welcome back to Insane Brit Gaming. I've been Insane Brit, and uh, today's food review is uh, a little bit simplistic today, I won't even lie. Uh, but Mr. Kipling's uh, Six Bramley Apple Pies. Uh, so, yeah, we are going to be doing these apple pies. Uh, Mr. Kipling, of course, is very famous. Um, I am a little bit sick, I will not even deny that. I've missed about <coughs> two weeks of um, food reviews, so I know this is quite basic compared to what I normally do, or well, it is what it is. It's a known brand, so uh, I'll probably do something a little bit more interesting next week or whatever, or hopefully. And hopefully I'll be a little bit less sick as well, or hopefully fully okay, you know, and fully well. So, here we go. <coughs> Again, the product will be in the link in the description below if you're interested in trying these. Hmm, quite small. Don't weigh an awful lot there. Hmm, smell quite unique. Oh, I can really smell the apple. Ooh, nice, coming through. Alright, so let's get this on the way. Mm. Quite sugary, not too crumbly. It's quite light, the pastry. Hmm. I'm getting chunks of apple in there, little bits of broken up apple. <clears throat> So there's an element of apple there, of course, but it seems to be somewhat dominated by the pastry. Hmm. They're nice and sweet. I'm getting a sense of dryness there, overall, so you will need to have a drink of it. My god, <laughs> I mean, I'm only eating one. <sighs> Alright, let's have a big uh, bite of this apple now. Not a lot of moisture in the product, <clears throat> quite dry, honest to God. Um, the apple is okay and quite tasty. I wish there was a little bit more of it, though, I won't deny that. Alright. I'm going to try another one and see if it's any better. Or is there a level of consistency of what they actually do and, uh, and how much apple they put in? So let's go for a second round. Oh. Hmm. Okay, and this one, there seems to be a lot more apple. <clears throat> if I can take away this crust, I will show you. It's like pasted around the whole thing. So that's actually a lot better. I would prefer that than just having like one or two smidges of it. Um, that's what it felt like in the uh, previous one. Hmm. Uh, 
they need to have a good base of consistency I feel and do that with everyone at least from the two that I've tasted remember your um, your experience may vary with this product but that's what it feels like to me uh, it's not too consistent enough at least in my opinion right now this one's actually a lot better <clears throat> The pastry is light, but there is a lot of the pastry. It feels like, you know, <clears throat> it's just dominating the thing overall, you know? I, I've just broken off two big bits of pastry, uh, which seems to counteract the apple an awful lot. <clears throat> Maybe to disguise on average that um, there's not a lot of apple there. Um, but it's the same with any particular product in terms of a donut. You get the most donut, and there's a jam in the middle. There's not a lot of jam, maybe, depending, again, on what products you get. Um, for me, hmm. Hmm. Oh man. <coughs> For me, an overwhelming sense of dryness is what the product gives me overall. Uh, there are better products out there and more tasty, I feel, with um, um, apple pastries and stuff like that. I think I tried that pastry a few weeks ago with apple in it. That was actually very nice. And uh, there's various ap uh, apple products you can buy with pastry in like Asda and various other places like that. So if you're looking for apple and pastry, and that kind of thing, I think you're better off going elsewhere, they're a lot more tastier, uh, but for this, for this product, it is nice, it is light, but it doesn't do an awful lot for me uh, compared, and uh, if you told me I could never have one of these again, I wouldn't give shit, because there's other products out there, so for me, I'm going to give this a 2, uh, the pastry is quite light, uh, the apple is there, <coughs> but it just leaves another... Uh, whelming sense of dryness and it isn't that tasty compared to other products so uh, for me uh, unfortunately it's about a 2 out of 5 for me uh, not the best product there are better uh, products out there this uh, product will be in the link in the description below um, that's about it for this food review guys um, next week I'll probably try and have something a little bit more interesting for you maybe a takeaway product um, maybe even gaming food I don't know I think about doing something like that it just well, there's not a lot of gaming food out there trust me but I was just going to review something like that um, possibly some energy drinks depends on what I decide to do oh god anyway guys I said you will need a drink if you're into these uh, having said that <coughs> see you guys I'm still sick that's about it for this week's food review uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it please like share comment and subscribe follow me on Facebook Instagram Twitter GTA will continue when FIFA 18 hits I will uh, record uh, FIFA 18 and uh, release that. That will be, and then I'll complete that game because that's going to take one or two weeks uh, compared to GTA. It's going to be going on three or four weeks, so I'll break that up as much as possible. Um, anyway, guys, that's just to give you a small update there if you're interested in that. And uh, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, links all in the description below there as well. If you want to donate to my channel, you can. It helps go towards all this food reviews and equipment and God knows whatever else I need uh, to keep the show running. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching.